everyone so now let's do one small lab okay so this is a basic lab already we are doing so many basic labs so one more we are doing this is a small organization okay a small organization so let me design a network here imagine this is the router your company router okay your company router you are a small organization so i will write here like uh, gateway you can give any name i am giving gateway this is your company router a small router after that you have one switch after that you have some machines a small company this is a small company okay after that we can take the cable and we can connect from here to here we can connect from here to here here to here and then this router and from this router let me take one more router imagine this is a isp router isp give you the connection okay so what i can say in this scenario this is a small scenario just i will explain the scenario later we will do the lab okay so let me take the pen here and let me take my pen tab to explain you this scenario if you see here what i want to say you that this is our company imagine this is a small office okay this is a small office a small office home office so you have one switch here and you have two or three machine that is computer and you have the one router we can say r1 or gateway you taken the connection from the isp internet service provider he is having some router he give the fiber cable you connected that fiber cable to your router okay this is your company router so now we need to look how we can configure here what we can configure here so our machine can access the internet we can create one loop back here just for testing purpose 8.8.8 .8 or we can put one server also here this is isp network from here if you see from here to here this is a isp network isp is responsible our duty will be in our organization our task will be from here to here only okay our task will be from here to here so what we are saying here this is a small office network so what you need to do you need to assign the ip here okay you need to assign the ip here and whatever ip you are assigning you need to give the default gateway for this machine you can use the dscp also but now what we are saying we are saying small office a small office so we don't have dscp manually we can assign the ip to this machine with the gateway example i will take here 192.168.1.1 as a router interface this one so this should be gateway for this machine this machine this machine and this machine we will give the ip as 192.168.1.2 and this should be 1.3 and this should be 1.4 so we will use this way and here ISP will be responsible for this one. We will get the IP from the DSCP from the ISP side, or if you are buying the public IP, ISP will give you. Example, ISP will tell you assign the IP this one to your router interface and forward all your traffic to some IP. Example, ISP router is having this IP, so ISP will uh, tell you forward all your traffic to this uh, IP. So you will create here default route and you will forward here. this will be public ip from here to here so what we need to do we need to do nat here so the private ip can be translate to the public ip so we need to do this one also so in our next class we are going to learn what we are going to learn first we will do we will assign ip here we will assign ip here we will put the default route here okay and here will be the private ip this side and here will be the public ip and here we will configure the nat network address translation so our traffic will be translate and it will go here without any uh, routing protocol we will get the reply back because we configure the nat if we don't have the nat then we need to do the reverse routing forward routing we are doing here default route is nothing but we are sending the traffic but reverse routing we don't have isp router don't know anything about this route so we need to enable the nat here if we enable the nat then we will have the written communication if we don't enable the nat our packet will not come here so we need to do the reverse routing we cannot do the reverse routing in the isp router this is a isp router we we cannot touch the isp router because we don't have access this is a service provider 
internet service provider service provider is giving us the connection okay so what we are saying this is your small office imagine this is your small office so ho we can say so ho small office home office so this is a small office setup this is a fiber cable isp give you okay isp connected to your router and they give you one public ip you need to assign that public ip and you need to forward the all traffic from your organization to isp router he will give you the ip also forward all your traffic to this ip so we need to do that scenario okay try to do this lab try to do this lab and check you are able to do or not if you cannot i will teach you i will show you okay and one more thing i put the link in the description if you want to take our course recorded course you can go there and also our lab batches is also going on if you want you can check uh, our video description in that one i already put the link of the application try to install that one and check there is a some free resources and some video are unlock you can watch that one if you like you can take the premium course else you can use the free course there okay some videos are unlocked you can watch that one to get the knowledge and we are doing the live there inside the app so you can uh, install so you have the chance to attend the live demo classes in the lab in the app okay so see you in our uh, next class thank you bye